prime uh, right we will start today session uh, then uh, in accounting equation students uh, last day uh, last day i was not in a good condition i think after the virus influence uh, last year in the class i know that therefore uh, and uh, last year we discussed a uh, double entry question again i will explain that question today yeah huh? right and uh, page number 16 wait then page number 16 question number 11 homework question number 11 homework and then page number 19 question number 19 homework I get it. Yes. No. Uh, page number nineteen. Question number twenty-one. Page number nineteen. Question number twenty-one. Homework. Right. Quickly, we will discuss. Quickly, we will discuss. Ah, uh, accounting equation questions. I get after discussing those two questions, we will move into discuss double entries today. Ah, huh? we will move into discuss double entries today. Last year we discussed ah uh, question number seven. In question number seven, we discuss uh, ledger accounts. Right. Go to work pack four. Go to the work pack four. Work pack four. Uh, page number sixteen. Page number sixteen. Question number eleven. Page number sixteen. Question number eleven. I get it. Page number sixteen, question number eleven. Right. Right. Look at the question. Some of the students uh, send me the answers here. Yeah. Kriti, I will give you the answer. Please write down now. Please write down. Okay. Uh, if you have completed the question, please uh, check your answer. Please check your answer here. The following accounting equation is uh, account accounting equation of uh, Sameer's business shows the impact of transaction occurred in January. The owner has not made any drawings. Are uh, there is no drawings? Okay, the owner has not made drawings in in the month. There is no drawings. There is no drawings. Explain the most suitable transaction for uh, above which right now for the uh, following accounting equation. There is no any drawings, no drawings. Okay, therefore, if uh, equity decrease, if equity decrease by some amount, you can't write it as drawings. Okay, you can't write it as drawings. Okay, ne? you can't uh, you can't write it as drawings. Uh, Atmika, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Devi, can you hear me, Devi? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, right, right. Then, uh, right. First one. What is first one? Uh, stock plus three hundred thousand. Cash minus seven hundred fifty thousand. Creditors plus seven hundred fifty thousand. First transaction, na. Uh, purchase. Ah, uh, stocks. Uh, purchase hundred fifty thousand stock on cash basis and hundred fifty thousand stocks on credit basis. Transaction number one, first transaction. Purchase hundred fifty thousand stocks on cash basis and hundred fifty thousand stocks on credit basis. Transaction number one. Transaction number one. You need to write down most possible transaction. The most possible transaction. I know that one of the most possible transaction. Second one. Second one, cash decrease by thirty thousand, equity decrease by thirty thousand. You can't write this. You okay? You can't write this second one as drawings. There is no drawings. Then payment of salary thirty thousand. Payment of uh, payment of rent thirty thousand. Okay, the payment of expense by another thirty thousand. Payment of an expense thirty thousand. Payment of salary thirty thousand. Most it's possible. Really Excuse me, sir. Yes, yes. Sir, what is the first one? 
first one uh, right now the first one purchase 150000 stocks on cash basis and 150000 stocks on credit basis okay sir thank you okay right right second one payment of salary 30000 third one what is third paid bank loan installment of 80000 including 5000 interest right down paid bank loan installment 80000 including 5000 as interest 5000 interest <coughs> clear okay they paid 80000 bank loan installment including 5000 as interest right third one okay look at the fourth one transaction number four here yeah. sold 250,000 stocks for 350,000 on credit basis by down fourth one by down fourth one sold 250,000 stocks for 350,000 on credit basis on credit basis for January on credit basis for January on credit basis okay right next one 5th January 5th January one of the most possible transaction owner provided 150,000 to the business cash plus equity plus okay owner provided 150,000 to the business or another one received rent income of 150,000 okay for the 5th January uh, for this 150,000 uh, you can write owner provided 150,000 for the business or received 150,000 rent income received 150,000 commission income received an income clear is it clear so can we take owner investor yes 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 right owner provided owner invested 150,000 to the business 150,000 additional capital huh? owner invested additional capital of 150,000 ah yes this is not correct this is not correct can you 250,000 worth of stock sold to debtors yes correct huh? correct right Right, fifth January, owner provided additional capital of 150,000 business. Additional capital, huh? one of the additional capital, right? Sixth January, what is sixth January? Huh? Pay 50,000 to creditors. Pay 50,000 to creditors. Fifth January, pay 50,000 to creditors. Right, seventh one, seventh one, received 130,000 from debtors. Received 130,000 from debtors. Received 130,000 from debtors. Okay, that clear. Done. Okay, ne? right. Hirodhya, is it clear, Hirodhya? Excuse me, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, can you tell the third one, sir? Third one? Yes. This one, right, neither. Paid bank loan installment. 80,000 including 5,000 interest. Okay. Okay, then. Right there. Uh, back loan installment 8,000. This 80,000 including right there. 75,000 payment for the capital payment. 75,000 paid to settle the back loan amount. And excess paid 5,000 back loan interest. This 5,000 expense for the business, this 75,000 uh, payment for the liability. Payment to settle the liability. Okay, then? right. Right. Question number 11 done. Quickly, we will discuss. Quickly, we will discuss question number 21. Quickly, we will discuss question number 21. <laughs> right. Question number 21. Right, quickly, I will do the question number 21. 
please check your answer please check your answer question number 21 right <coughs> question number 21 question number 19 Right, question number 21. Question <coughs> uh, number 21. <coughs> Cash, stock, tethers, and then creditors and bank loan. <coughs> Right. Cash, the stock, debtors, capital, creditors, bank loan. Thank you. Right. Question number 21. Please, please check your answer for the question number 21. <coughs> please check your answer for the question number 21. Right. Malaysia commenced the business on 1st January 2022. Invested 60,000. Please check your answer. First transaction. Cash plus 60,000. Cash plus 60,000. Capital plus 60,000. Cash plus 60,000. Capital plus 60,000. Right. Please check your answer. Second one. Purchase 20,000 stocks on cash basis. Then Cash of the business decreased by 20,000. Cash of the business decreased by 20,000. And then stock increased by 20,000. Stock increased by 20,000. Third one. Third one. Purchase 25,000 stocks on credit basis. Our business purchase 25,000 stocks on credit basis. Then stock increased by 25,000. Stock increased. Received stock. But on credit basis. Then Creditors increased by 25,000. Creditors, liability. Liability increased by 25,000. Liability increased by 25,000. Right. Fourth transaction. Obtain a bank loan 45,000. Obtain a bank loan 45,000. Then received 45,000 the business. Cash increased by 45,000. And then, and then, and then, bank loan of the business increased by 45,000. Received cash. Every transaction has a dual impact. This is a dual impact. Received cash. Cash increased by 45,000. On the other hand, increase bank liability. Liability, liability. Increasing by liability. Then bank loan increased by 45,000. Every transaction has a dual impact. Asset increase. Here, liability increase. Asset increase, liability increase. <coughs> right. Transaction number five. Sold stocks which cost 12,000 for 18,000 on cash basis. Sold stocks which cost 12,000. 12,000 is stock. Stock decreased by 12,000. Stock decreased by 12,000. And then 18,000 on cash basis. Then cash increased by 18,000. Cash increased by 18,000. And then, and after here, there's a profit. Profit how much? 6,000. 6,000, capital plus 6,000. Capital plus 6,000. Cash plus stock minus capital plus 6,000. Right. Check your answer. Right. Six transactions. Sold inventory, which costs 15,000 for 25,000 on credit basis. Sold inventory, which costs 15,000. Then stock decreased by 15,000. 25,000 on, on credit basis. Then, debtors of the business increased by 25,000. Debtors of the business increased by 25,000. And then, and then here there's a profit. Profit how much? 10,000. Capital increased by 10,000. <coughs> Capital increased by 10,000. Okay, then? Right. Transaction number seven. Seventh transaction. 
received 8000 from debtors then uh, debtors paid us then received 8000 from the debtors then cash increased by 8000 cash increased by 8000 and then and after that debtor decreased by 8000 debtors decrease cash increase debtors decrease asset increase asset decrease every transaction has a dual impact dual impact okay we we'll dual impact we we'll discuss again today double entries okay this is a dual impact cash increase asset increase debtors decrease debtor decrease okay asset decrease right transaction 7 transaction number 8 Paid bank loan installment 6,000, including 1,000 interest. Paid bank loan installment. This is paid 6,000. Cash decrease by 6,000. Cash decrease. Here, 1,000, including interest. Then, then, interest payment, capital minus. Capital minus 1,000. Expense. Bank loan installment 6,000. But in that 6,000, 1,000 belongs to uh, interest. 1,000 belongs to interest. Then balance amount, bank loan, bank loan minus 5,000. Bank loan minus 5,000. Right. Question is done. Finish. <coughs> right. Now, I, how about the cash balance? How about the cash balance? How about the cash balance? 100,000. Huh? 105,000? Yes. Yes. 105,000. 105,000. <laughs> Cash balance. Stock balance how much? Stock? All right. Stock balance 18,000. Stock balance 18,000. <laughs> Debtors how much? Debtors? 17. Debtors how much? Huh? 70,000. Yes, right. <laughs> right. Capital payment, how much? Total, uh, total capital balance, how much? Capital balance? 75,000. 75,000. Right. Pay 25,000. Bank loan, 40,000. Right. Right. Done. Finished. As both side equal, la. both side equal. Right. Right. Question number 21 done. Question number 21 done. Done. Right. Then right. Finish. <coughs> right. Please check your answer. Please check your answer. Question number 21. Great 10. Great 10, work pack 4, work pack 4, page number 19, page number 19, question number 21. Okay, uh, next, right. Right. Uh, this has not, if we discuss question number 10, In accounting equation? No, sir. No. Not discuss. Question number 10, not discuss. Ne? No, sir. Right. Question number 9. We discuss 9. We discuss. We discuss question number 9. Right. Question number 10, not discuss. Ne? Yes, sir. No, sir. All right. All right. A right. question nine done, right? Right, question nine done. Question nine we have discussed. <laughs> right, then question number 10 homework. Question number 10 homework. Question number 10 homework. Right. Uh, so, what is number 10? What question? Yes, uh, give me a 
Page number 10, uh, page number 10. Page 10, page number 10, homework. Huh? Okay. Homework. Right. Okay, I send a message. Huh? I send a message to the group. Huh? Page 10, page number 10, homework. Right. Right. And then, uh, now quickly we will move into page number 12. Page number 17, page number 12. Page number 17, page number 12. Right. We'll go to, uh, we'll move into uh, page, page number 12. Huh? Sir, I did it. I think you gave it as homework before page number 10. I think we haven't discussed question number 10, eh? No, sir, we haven't discussed. All right, 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 right. Then question number 10, homework, huh? Right. Question number 10, homework, huh? Right. Then uh, we will discuss question number 12 now. Small question, huh? one of the small question. Situm, so, question number 10 gave. No, we, I think we, have, we haven't discussed question number 10. So I think you gave it as homework before. Question number 10? Yes, sir. Now, no, you did not give it. question number 10 as homework. Right, then uh, next year homework. Huh? Right, question number 10 homework. Right. Then uh, quickly we will discuss question number 12 now. Question number 12 now. Here, this was question number 12. Question number 12 means, right, question number 12. Right, then question number 12 discuss capital column. Equity column of the business. Equity column. In question number 12, you can see, I know that. Equity column of the business. Equity column. Equity of capital column. Equity of capital column of the business organization. Okay, ne, huh? Yes, this is a this is a question about homework, huh? Right. Right. Then here, in question number twelve, in question number twelve. Question number 12 asks you to calculate closing equity balance. Closing equity balance of the business. Or closing capital. Closing capital. Here, and then this 60,000 is opening capital. This 60,000 is opening capital. Opening equity. Opening capital or opening equity. This 75,000. Close in capital O, close in equity. Close in equity. Okay, 60,000 opening equity, 75,000 closing equity. 60,000 opening capital, 75,000 closing capital. Closing capital. And income plus capital, income plus. Expenses minus. Okay, right now, the income plus capital, expenses minus capital. Income plus expenses minus, it means income minus income. Income minus expenses. From the income of the business, you can deduct expenses. From the income, you can deduct expenses. Then you can calculate what? And then you can profit. calculate profit of the business. Yes, very good. Profit of the business. It means profit belongs to owner. Profit belongs to owner. Profit belongs to owner. And then, and then, if owner provided an additional capital to the business, if owner provided an additional capital, capital plus, additional capital, capital plus, capital plus. And if owner withdrew some amount from the business, Owner has a family. He need to maintain his family. Therefore, he may take some amount from the business organization. 
cash or goods. He may take cash or goods from the business organization. Those are called drawings. Then drawings minus. Drawings minus. You need to deduct drawings from capital. Okay, ne? Right, then additional capital plus. Income plus. Expenses minus from capital. O, income minus expenses, profit. Profit plus capital. And drawings minus. If owner withdrew some amount from the business, that is called drawings. Drawings minus. Drawings minus. Right then, here, question number 12 asks you to calculate. Calculate the closing equity balance as of 31 December 2020. Question number 12. Calculate the closing equity. Calculate the closing equity. Calculate the closing equity of the business organization. Closing capital balance. Simple thing. One of the simple calculation. Okay, and here is movement in the capital line. In a counting equation, movement in the capital line, equity line, equity column. Equity column. Right. Quick, we will do question number 12. Quick, we will do question number 12. Question number 12. Question number 12. Right. What is question number 12? Question number 12, page number 17. Question number 12, page number 17. Following are some details of Arnia Enterprises for the year 2020. Calculate the closing equity balance as of 31 December 2020. Right, write down. We will do the question. Capital, first January 2020. Capital, 358,000. 358,500. Capital, 358,000. And then expenses for the year. Expenses for the year. Separate down expenses. Expenses of the year, 128,300 expenses. <coughs> you need to deduct expenses. Income for the year, income. Income of the year, 254,620 income. Income, income of the period. Income of the period. Cash invested by the owner, additional capital. Additional capital, how much? 75,000. Additional capital, 75,000. Okay, then, right. Opening capital plus income plus additional capital. Right, calculate the total amount and then from that total amount, you need to deduct expenses to calculate closing equity balance, close equity balance or closing capital balance. Right. Total uh, capital land, income and additional capital. Total amount, how much? Total amount. So, so uh, it's like we should put it above the expenses. Yes, 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 yes. Total amount, neither. Take the total amount and then from the total amount, you can minus expenses. 658,120. 658,120. 688,000. 88, 88, 88, 88, 88, 88, 88, 88, right. 559,820. 
equity or capital, la, equity or capital. Same thing. 31st December 2020. Equity or capital. Okay, ne? closing capital of the business or closing equity of the business. Right, ne? right. Question number 12. Right. Done. Is it done? Umesha, finish. Umesha. Right. Yes, you do. Done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Yenuka, finish. Yenuka? Finish, sir. Right, right. Tanvi, finish or not? Yes, sir. Right. Right. Yenuli, okay, the done. Yenuli. Okay, sir. Okay, right. I then, for the question number 13, here write down, after the cash invested by the owner, after this 30,000, write down, uh, below that figure, write down again, uh, drawings to 1,000. For the question number 13, after this additional capital, write down, drawings to 1,000. Write down, drawings to 1,000, drawings. Write down drawings 12,000. Drawings. <laughs> drawings 12,000. Drawings 12,000. Then drawings you need to be done, huh? Like expenses. And then drawings 12,000. Right. Quickly complete the question of 30. Quickly complete question number 30. Sir, drawings? Drawings 12,000, no? Yes. Drawings 12,000. Right, copy the question. So can you share the screen? Done. Is it expenses? Income are eighty five thousand. Additional capital thirty two thousand. Drawings. Right, then here. Four hundred ninety-two thousand. Four hundred ninety-two thousand. Yes. Right. Yes, four hundred ninety-two thousand. Minus expenses and drawings.
How much is the closing balance here? Yeah. Here are 52,000. Is it correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Right. Here are 52,000. Close equity of the business. Okay, clear, right? Right. Manager, is it done? Manager. Sara, is it finished? Sara. Yes. Yes, right. Then uh, Nehara, okay, then. Nehara. Finish. Okay, right. Nadilia. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Nehara or oh, Nehara? Right, right. Push out to a locate on it, right? Right. Then, uh, we don't read that, right? Right, then uh, question number 12, 13, okay. Uh, question number 14, homework. Question number 14, homework. Question number 14, homework. Okay, question number 14, homework. Question number 14, homework. Question number 14, homework. Okay, question 14, homework. Right. Right, then, uh, right. Right. right, now we will move into, uh, we'll discuss ledger accounts, right. So as, uh, last year we discussed something regarding ledger accounts. Last year we discussed question number seven. Uh, again, I will discuss question number seven. I will explain something regarding question number seven, okay. And uh, please check your answer. Okay, last year we discussed it. Last year we discussed ledger accounts for the question number seven. Right. Please take the last day answer. Right. Question number seven. For the question number seven, we will discuss. Question number seven means uh, question number seven, page number 14. Okay. Then. For the question number seven, in page number 14, we will discuss ledger accounts. Right, the Jacobs. Okay, right.
for normal business organization for a small smallest business for a small scale business uh, we can use accounting equation accounting equation method to record transaction but but when you grow in your business organization you can't apply accounting equation to record transaction in a business organization okay therefore we use one of the method double entry system okay we use double entry system to record transaction in a business organization okay double entry system okay right now i uh let me explain accounting process in a business accounting process we'll discuss some we'll discuss accounting process accounting process starts with transaction and events already we have discussed transaction and events we discuss already we discuss okay transaction events right and then out of these transaction and events transaction events which can be measured in terms of money which can be measured in terms of money we record in financial statements right and then after preparing after occurring transaction events business organization prepare source documents source documents of transaction and events source documents we will discuss chapter 7 onwards we'll discuss source of humans source of humans and all those things okay this is the best source of human for source of human means for example when you purchase something from the kargil post city kargil post city is a bill that bill is a source of human okay if you purchase something from the kargil post city you need to show the bill okay now your mother uh, will request you the bill bill of the kargil pusi if you can prove the transaction to your mother using that bill one of the source document source document a bill a bill source document source document then this source document transactions we record in primary books primary books we will discuss primary books chapter 7 onward we will discuss primary books okay cash book bank account petty cash book sales journal purchase journal general journal we we'll discuss we we'll discuss okay and then and then after recording these transaction in primary books after recording these transaction in primary books uh we can prepare ledger accounts ledger accounts <laughs> ledger accounts we have five types of ledger accounts asset account liability account equity account income account and expenses accounts we have five types of ledger accounts okay right then after recording primary books transaction in ledger accounts we prepare trial balance we will discuss we will discuss today we will discuss today trial balance chapter 11 chapter 11 but with question number 7 we will discuss today trial balance i will give you some idea i will give you some idea okay i will show you the uh, today i will try to show you the final outcome final results of accounting final results of final outcome of accounting okay then ledger account trial balance and after preparing trial balance we prepare we prepare financial statements in a business i will give you some idea regarding financial statements financial statements i will give you some idea regarding financial statements financial statements we can discuss in grade 11 but with chapter 7 with question number 7 i will give you some idea i'll give you some idea financial statements okay ne? what are the financial statements profit and loss statement and statement of financial position profit and loss statement and statement of financial position then through these financial statements you can provide information to stakeholders stakeholders okay ne? you can provide information to stakeholders what is the basic purpose of accounting 
basic purpose of accounting is to providing information to stakeholders providing information to stakeholders then to provide information to stakeholders you can provide these financial statements you can provide these financial statements i will give you some idea okay i will give you some idea okay ne? right ne? right right if you have some kind of idea regarding financial statements you can get the idea easily you can get the idea of ledger accounts okay otherwise you don't know uh, the reason to prepare ledger accounts okay with question 7 i will give you some idea okay ne? and i will send the recording as well please for the recording okay please for the recording again okay ne? right preparation of financial statements not relevant for the grade 10 but to provide to get some idea regarding accounting okay ne? we'll prepare we'll prepare today okay we'll prepare i will give you some idea regarding profit and loss and statement of financial position okay ne? right right then then with question number 7 we will discuss preparation of ledger accounts and trial balance okay with the question number 7 we uh, we are not going to discuss primary books and source of human chapter 7 onwards we can discuss those things and then today we will discuss ledger accounts last year also we discussed again i will give you some idea regarding ledger accounts and the method of preparing trial balance then preparation of ledger accounts belongs to chapter uh, chapter 6 yes preparation of ledger accounts belongs to chapter 6 dual impact of transaction but preparation of trial balance belongs to chapter 11 chapter 11 okay we have 12 lessons 12 lessons to in grade 11 in grade 10 okay and then out of those 12 lessons preparation of trial balance belongs to chapter 11 chapter 11 Okay, ne? Right, ne? The students who are in my classes, no need to worry about the trial balance and correction operation, all those things. Okay, ne? Right, ne? The in 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 my class, okay, ne? In my class, I can give you the logical idea. Therefore, no need to worry about those uh, lessons. Okay, ne? Try to get the logical understanding. Right. We we'll discuss question number seven. Question number seven. Question number seven. Ledger accounts. Question number seven, question number fourteen. Last year also we discussed. Again, check your answer, get the idea. Right, question number seven. Question number seven. With question number seven, we will discuss. Question number seven, question number fourteen. Right. 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 Please check your answer. Question number seven, page number fourteen. Now page number fourteen. Right. We will prepare. Right. Students, in every account has two sides, debit side and credit side. Every account has two sides, debit side and credit side. Debit side and credit side. We have a specific structured format. to prepare ledger account you have a specific format for the ledger account okay the debit side date debit side date okay the debit side description description credit side date credit side description and then here lf last year we discussed lf credit side also lf opposite account page number In LF, we can record opposite account page number, page number, and then here amount of value, amount of value, amount, 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 date, date, description, description, LF, LF, amount, amount, LF, OLP, LF, OLP. But no need to, but no need to worry about this structured format. We will use P account format to get the idea. get the idea if you know the double entry system okay through t accounts 
quickly you can draw this structured format. In the school exam, you need to draw this structured format. Structured format. But for the understanding purpose, we we'll prepare the account format. Okay, you can't draw the accounts in the school exam, huh? but if a school teacher allowed allows you to uh, prepare the accounts, then you can draw in the school term test. Okay, ne? but in most of the schools, school teachers are not allowing to prepare the account format. The account format. Therefore, if a school teacher allows you to prepare T accounts, you can draw T accounts. Okay, but in most of the schools, teachers ask you to prepare a structured format. So in all levels, then? In all levels also, you need to prepare a structured format. But uh, I have seen in few mark in, in one mark in the scheme, uh, examiner examiner's expectation is only one structured format. One account in correct format. And uh, and the other accounts in the account format. Eka account eka structured format again the unknown. And it the account to not a case. Okay, one account in correct format, other accounts in the account format. No issue. Okay, now I think in 2017 O-level paper, I have seen uh, that kind of things. Therefore, uh, normally, normally in the O-level exam, you can draw okay, one account in structured format, other accounts in key account format. Okay, the, in the exam, it is okay, but in term test, okay, ne? I know that teachers will not provide you the mark. Therefore, in your term test, please draw structured form. But Today, for the understanding purpose, we'll prepare T counts, huh? T counts. For the question number seven, right? Question number seven. Right. Every transaction has a dual impact. Every transaction has a dual impact. The dual impact we can record in the debit side or credit side. If you debited the transaction into one account, to the opposite account, you need to credit. To the opposite account, you need to credit. If you credited the transaction into one account, to the opposite account, you need to debit. You need to debit. Okay, you need to do it. And as beginners, as beginners, right now, as beginners, please try to get the idea through cash book. Cash book. No need to cram anything, any double entry. Try to get the idea through cash book. Cash book. Through the cash book, we try to get the idea. Okay, last year also we discussed. Again, we'll discuss today. Question number seven here. This is a cash book. Please check your answer. Cash book or cash account? We'll, I will write down cash account. Okay, first question, therefore, cash account. Cash account. Then if you haven't drawn these ledger accounts in last day, please draw these ledger accounts. Right, cash account. And then I will draw another few ledger accounts. I will draw another few ledger accounts. <laughs> my space is not enough, therefore I need to balance my, manage my space. Huh? I need to manage my space. Few ledger accounts. Done. Few ledger accounts. Right. We will start the question, I think, last day, uh, you have drawn this ledger account. Right. Go to page number seven. What is the first transaction? First transaction. Look at the first transaction. First one. Introduce capital. Introduce capital by the owner. 300,000. Owner provided 300,000 cash to the business organization. <laughs> okay. Owner provided 300,000 cash to the business. Then here. Try to get the idea through cash account. Cash book, debit, cash inflow. Cash inflow, debit. Cash outflow, credit. Cash outflow, credit. Cash book, debit, credit. Cash inflow, debit. Cash outflow, credit. Then if you debited to cash account, 
definitely to the opposite account you need to credit credit if you recorded some amount in the credit side of the cash account definitely to the opposite account you need to debit debit okay and every transaction has a dual impact dual impact two impact two impact dual impact of transactions right look at the first one look at the first one introduce capital 300000 owner introduce 300000 to business sale cash inflow last time we discussed cash inflow cash inflow the cash yes at first cash cash more than cash book debit 300000 here capital cash inflow cash inflow cash book debit 300000 cash inflow and then here you need to write down opposite account name opposite account name is on capital and then cash book debit 300000 and after that capital account credit 300000 capital account credit 300000 here cash cash why cash here opposite account name is cash okay cash inflow they are for cash book debit if you debit it into cash account definitely the opposite account you need to credit what is opposite account opposite account is capital opposite account is capital then the capital account 300000 credit here cash opposite account name cash in the cash account debit uh, debit 300000 capital description is capital capital means opposite account name is capital the opposite account name is capital. okay then here in the description line always you need to write down opposite account name name of the opposite account okay ne right nadilla is it clear nadilla yes nadilla is it clear right can it clear can it yes sir yes sir right kaushi is it clear kaushi yes sir it's clear yes right look at the second one look at the second one purchase equipment for use in the business 50000 purchase equipment purchase price 50000 cash inflow outflow 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 yes cash outflow then cash book credit then cash book credit cash book credit 50000 Cash book credit fifty thousand here. Equipment, equipment. Cash book credit fifty thousand equipment, and then equipment account debit. <laughs> equipment account debit fifty thousand cash. Cash. Cash book credit. If cash book credit to the opposite account, definitely you need to debit. Then opposite account is equipment. Opposite account is equipment. Then cash book credit fifty thousand equipment, and equipment account debit fifty thousand cash. Opposite account is cash. Opposite account is cash. Cash book credit fifty thousand equipment account debit fifty thousand. Okay, ne? Clear, ne? Right. Look at the third one. Look at the third one. Look at the third one. Purchase goods on credit eighty thousand. Purchase goods on credit eighty thousand. You have purchased stocks. You have purchased stocks. You have purchased stock to the business organization. How much? Eighty thousand. If you purchase on cash basis, if you purchase on cash basis, then you need to pay cash. If you purchase on cash basis, cash book credit eighty thousand. Cash outflow. Cash outflow, cash book credit, cash book credit. If you purchase on cash basis, at first you need to pay cash, and then you can receive, you can collect stocks. Then purchase account debit. You need to open a separate account. Purchase account, purchase account debit eighty thousand. If you purchase on cash basis, how to record? Hmm? Cash book credit eighty thousand. Purchase account debit eighty thousand. If you purchase on cash basis. Then purchase account debit. But but here here you have purchase on credit basis. 
you have purchased on credit basis if you purchase on credit basis credit means what you agree to pay later you agree to pay that amount later then you can't credit into cash account you can't credit into cash account then we are credit we are credit ha huh? creditors account debit creditors account credit creditors account you can't credit into cash account then we are credit creditors account credit creditors account creditors anyway purchase account debit purchase account debit and creditors account credit 80000 80000 here purchases purchases okay purchases opposite account name is purchase purchases then creditors account credit 80000 purchases purchase account debit 80000 creditors opposite account name is creditors creditors <laughs> okay the purchase account debit creditors account credit 80000 if you purchase on cash basis cash book credit purchase account debit then you will purchase account debit ne but you can't credit into cash account then we are credit creditors account credit creditors you have agreed to pay this amount later creditors account debit 80000 Yes, creditors are liabilities. Creditors are liabilities. You need to pay later this amount. Liabilities, liabilities of the business. Okay, fine. Right. Then look at the fourth one. Look at the fourth one. Look at the fourth one. Here, pay telephone bill of the owner's house using cash of the business. One of the personal expense of the owner paid by the business. Paid by the business. Students, business cannot pay personal expense of the owner. Business cannot pay. But here, somehow they have paid. Then, if they have paid personal expense of the owner, then that amount should be considered that drawings, drawings, drawings. Owner withdrew five thousand from the business. We need to consider that five thousand as drawings of the owner. Drawings. You can't transfer this five thousand to telephone expenses. This is one of the personal expense of the owner. Then how to record this transaction? Huh? Because of this five thousand cash inflow or outflow, admiga. Cash inflow or outflow, admiga. Outflow. Yes, okay. cash outflow. Then, if cash outflow, cash book credit five thousand. Cash book credit five thousand here. Opposite account this one. Drawings, drawings, drawings. Then drawings account debit. Drawings account debit five thousand. Opposite account name is here cash, cash. And then cash book opposite account name is drawing. Yes, drawings. Then cash book credit five thousand drawings drawings account debit five thousand cash. Okay, then right. Transaction number four. Transaction number four. Right. Look at the transaction number five. Look at the transaction number five. <laughs> right. Cash shares fifty thousand. Cash shares fifty thousand. Cash is fifty thousand. He wrote there. Cash inflow or outflow. He wrote there. He wrote there. This fifty thousand because of this fifty thousand. Cash inflow or outflow. Inflow. Yes, cash inflow. If cash inflow, cash book debit. debit. Yes, cash book debit. Cash book debit. Cash book debit fifty thousand. Cash book debit fifty thousand. Here we write down sales. Sales. Yes, we write down sales. Cash book debit fifty thousand sales, and then to the sales account you need to credit this credit. Yes, yes. Sales account credit fifty thousand. Sales account credit fifty thousand. Here, here cash. 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 Yes, cash. Cash book debit fifty thousand sales. 
sales account value fifty thousand. Every transaction has a dual impact. Increasing asset, asset account debit. Increasing income, income account debit. Increasing income, income credit. Income accounts credit. Increasing asset, asset account debit. Decreasing asset, asset account debit. Asset account debit. Asset account debit. Okay. Ne? Increasing liability, liability account debit. Okay. Ne? Right. Right. Cash is okay. Look at the sixth one. Paid insurance seven thousand. Paid insurance seven thousand. Right. Then uh, extra cash inflow outflow extra. Paid insurance seven thousand. Outflow. Outflow. Yes, cash outflow. Then if cash outflow cash book credit cash book credit seven thousand. Yeah, insurance. Insurance. Yes, insurance. Cash book credit, insurance, seven thousand, and then and then what? And then insurance, insurance account debit debit. Yes, yes, very good. Huh? Insurance account debit seven thousand cash. 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 Opposite account name is cash. Cash book credit, insurance account debit seven thousand. Right, right. Seven pound. Look at the seven pound. Cash purchases forty thousand. Cash purchases forty thousand. Menuri. Cash purchases forty thousand. Menuri. Cash inflow outflow. Menuri. Cash outflow. Yes, cash outflow. Then cash book credit. Credit. Cash outflow. Then cash book credit. Purchase account debit. Purchase account debit. Yes, very good. Da? Yeah. Yes. Cash book credit forty thousand purchases, purchases and then purchase account debit forty thousand cash. Purchase account debit forty thousand <laughs> here, cash. Cash book credit purchases purchase account debit forty thousand. Right. Look at the last transaction. Pay creditors twenty thousand. Pay creditors forty twenty thousand. Monali cash inflow outflow. Monali, pay creditors twenty thousand. Monali, cash okay. outflow inflow. Monali, uh, yes, cash outflow. Then cash book, cash book credit. Then cash book credit, cash book credit twenty thousand. Cash book credit twenty thousand here. Creditors, creditors, business pay twenty thousand to creditors. Then cash book credit and then. Creditors account debit twenty thousand. Creditors account debit twenty thousand here cash. cash. Cash book credit. Creditors account debit here decreasing asset. Decreasing liability. Decreasing asset asset account credit. Decreasing liability liability account. Debit. Don't cram. Try to get the idea to the cash account. Cash account. No need to cram anything. Try to get the logical understanding. Try to get the logical understanding. Accounting hundred percent practical subject. Therefore, try to get the practical idea. Okay, ne? Right, right. Then, right. Then here we pass over the double entries. Right. Now we will take a break. We will take a break. Uh, again, we will start at nine twenty-five. We will take a break. After the break, we will discuss the method of balancing of ledger accounts. Okay, the method of balancing of ledger accounts will be discussed, and uh, after balancing of these ledger accounts, we prepare trial balance using these transactions. Right, we will take ten minutes break. Huh? Again, we will start at nine twenty-five. Nine twenty-five. Huh? Nine twenty-five. Ten minutes break. Right, we will start. Finish that. Right. Right. For the question number seven, we have passed all the double entries. We have passed all the double entries. Now we will balance of ledger accounts. How to balance of ledger account? 
How to balance of ledger? Here, in the cash book, in the cash book, hmm, debit side shows the total receipt, total received cash. Credit side shows total cash payments, total cash payments. Total cash receipt, total cash payments. Right. How to balance off a ledger account? Here, higher side of the cash book is debit side. Higher side of the cash book is debit side. You need to draw two parallel lines like this. Okay, you need to draw two parallel lines like this. You can't draw this line from uh, this line, huh? okay, from this line you can't draw. Okay, please follow my guidelines. Please follow my guidelines. By right then, you need to draw two parallel lines like this. And, and uh, you need to leave one of the row here. One of the row here, you need to leave. Huh? You need to leave one of the row. One of the row. After leaving one of the row, you need to draw two parallel lines like this. And then, and then, and then, higher side of the cash book, debit side. Higher side of the cash book, debit side. Debit side. Then, take the total, take the total of the debit side of the cash book. Take the total of the debit side of the cash book. Right. Debit side total amount how much? 300 and? 350,000. Yes, yes. Debit side total amount 350,000. Please hello. Okay, my method. Right. Huh? Then debit side total amount here are And then transfer debit side total amount to the credit side. Transfer debit side total amount to the credit side. Debit side total amount here are fifty thousand. And transfer that amount to the credit side. Here are fifty thousand. Then from this three hundred fifty thousand, now you need to deduct total amount of the credit side. Then you can calculate remaining cash balance of the business. Remaining cash balance. Right. Then debit side total amount 350,000. From 350,000, you need to deduct total cash payments. Total cash payments, how much? Total cash payments. 130,000. Huh? 130,000. 130,000. 130,000, 90, 100 and, no, not 130,000, 110,000, 122,000, total cash payments? Yes. Uh, total cash payments? 122,000. Yes, 122,000. Yes, and then total cash receipts 350,000. 350, total cash payment 122,000. Then remaining cash balance how much? Remaining cash balance of the business cash balance. Two hundred and twenty-eight thousand. Is it clear? Remaining cash balance of the business how much? Two hundred and twenty-eight thousand. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. right. Then, uh, then now here, right here, above this 350 line, above this 350,000, uh, here you need to write down. Here you need to write down. In this line, you need to write down remaining cash balance 228,000. 228,000. Here, BCD. Balance carried down. Balance carried down. BCD. Balance carried down. BCD. Balance carried down. Balance carried down. And then, and then, balance carried down. And then, here, uh, in this line, here, after this year of 50,000, BBF. BBF balance growth forward. 
balance carried down 228,000, balance brought forward 228,000. Balance brought forward 228,000. Balance carried down 228,000. Balance brought forward 228,000. Okay then. I think Atmika missing, ne? Yes, Atmika missing. Right. Right. Is it clear? Kemita, is it clear? Kemita? Yes, sir. Yes. Yellowly clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, right. Right. Yashinu, clear. Yashinu, is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, right. Right. Then here, balance carried down to 128,000, balance brought forward to 128,000. Okay, Raman. Right. Right. Please, uh, balance of your cash book. Please, balance of your cash book. And then, and now, we prepare the trial balance as well. Okay, now we are discussing but, uh, right now the, the method of balancing of ledger accounts. We prepare trial balance as well. No, later we will prepare. Later we will do trial balance. Later we will do that. Right. After completing this question, we will do. After balancing of ledger accounts, we will prepare the trial balance. All right. Then, how to balance capital account? How to balance of capital account? Right. Then, in your balancing of capital account, you need to leave one line. After leaving one line, here you need to write down. <laughs> you need to write down. Uh, you need to draw two parallel lines. You need to draw two parallel lines. And then, and then, higher side of the capital account, credit side. Then record that amount within these two lines. 300,000. 300,000. And then, and then transfer this 300,000 to debit side. Transfer this 300,000 to debit side. 300,000. 300,000 to debit side. And there is no balance to deduct in the debit side. There is no balance to deduct in the debit side. Therefore, here, balance carried down. Balance carried down BCD, balance carried down 30,000. You can write down as BCD, yeah? balance carried down. And here, balance brought forward, balance brought forward 30,000. Balance brought forward 30,000. Balance carried down, balance brought forward. BBF, you can't write it as balance brought down. You can write down as balance brought down. Now it should be balance brought forward. In Cambridge O level and A level, this balance brought forward write as balance brought down. But in our local A level and O level, we need to write it as balance brought forward. BBF. Then balance carried down 300,000. 300,000. And then Balance brought forward 300,000. Balance brought forward 300,000. BBA 300,000. Can you explain that? How could it be? No, no, no. 300,000, not 300,000. Okay. 300, right. And then we balance off equipment account. We balance off equipment account. Leave one line here. Leave one line and then draw. Two parallel lines. No two parallel lines. Then higher side in the equipment account, debit side, 50,000. Higher side, debit side, 50,000. And transfer this 50,000 to credit side, 50,000. 50,000. Higher side, debit side, 50,000. Then transfer that amount to credit side. Transfer that amount to credit side. And then, and after that, there is no balance to deduct in the credit side. There is no balance to deduct in the credit side. And then balance carried down 50,000. 
that is carried out 50,000. And then here, balance brought forward 50,000. Balance brought forward 50,000. Balance carried down 50,000. Balance brought forward 50,000. Okay, next five. Sarah, is it clear? Sarah, clear? Yes, yes right. Right. And then balance of the purchase account. Balance of the purchase account. Higher side is the purchase account, debit side. <coughs> debit side. Purchase account. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir, why won't balance carry down come on the credit side? The equipment account. No, here higher side is the equipment account, debit side. So debit side, side so debit side only will get balance uh, brought forward. Yes, if uh, there are uh, always balance brought forward coming to the higher side. Okay, sir. Okay, here yeah, with 50,000 transfer to 50,000. Okay? <laughs> no balance will have. Therefore, balance carried out 50,000, balance brought forward 50,000. DBF coming to the higher side, the huh? higher side. Purchases, purchase account. I purchase account also higher side debit side. Higher side debit side, 120,000 total purchases. Higher side debit side. Then transfer this amount of credit side. Transfer this amount of credit side. There is no balance to deduct in the credit side. No balance to deduct in the credit side. Therefore, therefore, therefore. Balance carried down 120,000. <laughs> balance carried down 120,000. And then, and then, balance brought forward 120,000. Balance carried down 120,000. Balance brought forward 120,000. Balance brought forward 120,000. Okay, that's fine, right? Right, and then creditors account. Creditors account. Wheel balance of the creditors account. Right, creditors account. Leave one line and then draw two other lines. <laughs> creditors account. Creditors account. In here, higher side is the creditors account, credit side, 80,000. Higher side is the creditors account, credit side, higher side. And then transfer this higher side total to the debit side, 80,000. 80,000 transfer to debit side. Total liability, higher side, credit side, 80,000 transfer to debit side, 80,000. And now, from this 8,000, you need to deduct this 20,000, 20,000. Remaining creditors balance. Remaining creditors balance. How much? 60,000. Remaining payable balance to suppliers, 60,000. Then 60,000, you need to deduct. 60,000. Balance, sorry, you need to balance carry down. Uh, you need to record 60,000 as balance carry down. Balance carried down 60,000 and then balance brought forward 60,000. Balance brought forward 60,000. Balance carried down 60,000. Balance brought forward 60,000. Balance brought forward. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir, uh, then the uh... B uh, B C D is the uh, uh, subtracted value of eighty thousand and twenty thousand, right? Yes, yes, yes. Here total amount eighty thousand. 
then transfer that amount of debit side. Then from this total payable balance, now you have paid 20,000. You have paid 20,000. Then 80,000 minus 20,000, balance carried out 60,000. Remaining balance, remaining payable balance. Right now, the subtracted amount, deducted amount, 60,000, remaining payable amount. Neither what the total pay grant is 80,000, total pay grant is regarding that the pay grant is not deducted. It will then be balance carried down. Neither remaining payable amount, remaining payable amount, balance carried down. Then balance brought forward 60,000. Clear? Is it clear? Okay then. Yes, sir. Clear that. Right. Then drawings, balance of the drawings account. Higher side, debit side. <laughs> Higher side, debit side. 5,000. Transfer that amount of credit side. Transfer that amount of credit side. Drawings. There's no balance to deduct. No balance to deduct. Balance carry it down. 5,000. And then here, balance brought forward. 5,000. Balance brought forward. 5,000. BBF balance brought forward 5000. Right. Sales account. Sales. Higher side is the sales account, credit side. Credit side. Then 50,000. Transfer to debit side 50,000. And then no balance to be up. So then Balance carried down 50,000 and then balance brought forward 50,000. Balance brought forward 50,000. 50,000. Right. And after that, insurance account. Insurance account. Insurance account 7,000. High side, debit side, 7,000. And transfer that amount to credit side, 7,000. No balance to deduct. So then, balance carried down 7,000. And balance brought forward 7,000. Balance brought forward 7,000. Okay, the please balance for all the ledger accounts. Excuse me, sir. Yes. That means, sir, uh, we should uh, put uh, the higher amount to the other side. Yes, 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 yes. Right now, you need to balance off the ledger account to the higher side. Higher side, which side? Higher side. Always you need to balance off the ledger account to the higher side. Okay. 7,000 pounds on the credit side. No balance to be done. Then balance carry it down. Balance plot for. Okay. Okay, that's all. Okay, next slide. You need to balance off the ledger cost to the higher side. Always find them to the highest balance. Right. Okay, they're done. Yeah. Isra here, I did that. Total payable balance 70,000. Higher side, debit side. Then you need to write down the uh, write down that highest amount in this line, 80,000. Then transfer that amount to debit side. Then from this 80,000, you need to deduct already paid the amount. You have paid 20,000. You have paid 20,000. Then 80,000 minus 20,000 remaining balance 60,000. Payable balance, remaining payable balance. Remaining payable balance, 60,000. Then that amount, balance carried down, and then here balance brought forward, 60,000. You can't write this 20,000 in the credit side. Then the highest amount only should be taken to the lowest side. Like 80,000 only should be taken to the yes, 20,000. Yes, and then here, higher side, you need to transfer to uh, opposite side. Then from that amount, you need to deduct uh that opposite side 
total amount. For example, okay. here the total payable balance is eighty thousand. From the total eighty thousand, you have paid twenty thousand. You have paid twenty thousand. Then eighty thousand minus twenty thousand means remaining balance sixty thousand. Remaining balance, balance carried down, balance flowed forward. Yes, sir. Thank you. Understood. Okay, man. Fine, bye. Remaining balance, this sixty thousand means remaining balance, balance carried down, balance flowed forward. <laughs> Rusda, is it done? Finished. Rusda? Yes. Fine. Devi, okay there. Okay, sir. Fine. Hirodya? Done. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Inuki, is it done? Inuki? Nehara, okay, the Nehara done. Uh, yes. Right. Umesha, okay, the Umesha. Venuja, okay, done. Yeah. Right. Tisasna, okay, the. Yes, sir. Yes, right. Tanvi. Yes. Yes, sir. Done it. Right. Right. Then now we prepare trial balance. Trial balance. Trial balance means in the trial balance, in the trial balance, we can include balances of all the ledger accounts. In the trial balance, we need to include balances of all the ledger accounts. If the both sides of the trial balance is equal, it means you have passed double entries properly. It means by the debited transaction properly, you have credited. If you properly pass double entries, trial balance should be equal. If trial balance is equal, trial balance equal means debited transaction properly, you have credited. Okay, if the trial balance is equal, we can get some assurance regarding our accounting process. Some assurance. Okay, right. We'll use a simple format to prepare the trial balance. Simple format. Here, a simple format. Trial balance. In the trial balance, trial balance, debit, Ready. Trial balance. Trial balance. Debit credit and trial balance. Debit credit and then trial balance. Right. Quickly draw this one. Quickly draw this one. Trial balance. Debit credit. Right here, look at the whiteboard. Okay, look at the whiteboard. Then, then cash balance, remaining cash balance, how much balance brought forward? 228,000. Remaining cash balance, how much? 228,000. Remaining cash balance in the debit side. In the debit side, then this 228,000, you need to debit into trial balance. Cash, 228,000. Decide. Likewise, balances available in all ledger accounts, you need to record in the trial balance. Balances available in all ledger accounts, you need to record in the trial balance. And at the end of the day, the trial balance should be equal. Both sides of the trial balance should be equal. Debit side should be equal to credit side. Debit side should be equal to credit side. Right. Quickly draw this file balance. Quickly draw this file balance. Hmm. 
once we completed the ledger accounts and balancing of is it must to do the prior balance yes this is not this is not without preparing prior balance we can't prepare financial statements but in the examination if examiner asks you to draw only ledger accounts you can draw only ledger accounts okay but here for the understanding purpose we need to prepare prior balance then again no need to discuss much about uh, chapter 11 okay ne? i need it. chapter 11 discuss the method of preparing prior balance but with ledger accounts we will discuss prior balance and again no need to worry about the chapter 11 if you know this idea chapter 11 is easy okay sir. Okay. If examiner asks you to prepare only ledger accounts, you need to do only ledger accounts. If examiner asks you to prepare trial balance, you need to do, uh, you need to complete trial balance. Okay, right. But without preparing trial balance, we can prepare uh, financial statements. Financial statements. Right, then. Cash balance brought forward from the debit side. Cash balance brought forward from the debit side. <laughs> and then this brought forward cash balance, you need to debit into the prior balance. 228,000. 228,000. And then capital account closing balance. Balance brought forward from the credit side. Capital account balance brought forward from the credit side. Then in the trial balance also, in the credit side, you need to record this 300,000. 300,000. Then higher balance, capital. Capital, 300,000. In the trial balance, credit side, 300,000. Higher balance, credit side, 300,000. Right. Equipment, equipment balance brought forward from the debit side. Equipment balance brought forward from the debit side. Then balance brought forward debit side, and then here equipment. Equipment debit side 50,000. Debit side 50,000. Right. Purchases. Purchases balance brought forward from the debit side. Purchases. Purchases. 120,000. 120,000. 120,000 purchases. Balance brought forward debit side. <laughs> and then creditors. Creditors balance brought forward in the credit side. Creditors balance brought forward in the credit side. Creditors. 60,000. Creditors. Okay, that right. Drawings balance brought forward in the debit side. Drawings. Debit side 5,000. Drawings debit side 5,000. Are we only considering the BBF? Yes, yes, only BBF. Balance brought forward. If you record a balance brought forward in the credit side erroneously, Trial balance will not be equal. Therefore, properly you need to balance of the ledger accounts. If you haven't balance of ledger accounts properly, you can't balance of the trial balance. You can't balance the trial balance. <laughs> right, next slide. If you haven't balance of the ledger accounts properly, Without balance, finally, uh, without uh, balancing of ledger accounts properly, if the trial balance is equal, if the trial balance is equal, say trial balance is equal, but you haven't balanced of ledger accounts properly, then, then you are not a human. Okay, you are not a human. You can't be a human. Okay. Right. Drawings 5000, debit side. 
sales sales bbf in the credit side then record in the credit side sales sales 50000 credit side sales sales 50000 credit side insurance balance brought forward in the debit side insurance insurance debit side then insurance bbf debit side and then always highest side amount coming as balance brought forward the balance in the higher side always you need to record in the prior balance <coughs> right. right we have recorded who is the transaction in the ledger who is the balance is available in uh, ledger accounts in the prior balance right how much the balance if we get get the <coughs> amount of the file balance balance sir the value entire balance right debit side total amount how much 400 thousand sir 410000 then credit side also 410000 yes 410000 credit side right <laughs> If you properly pass the budget entries and properly balance all the accounts, that will be equal. Final balance will be also chapter 11. Chapter 11. Chapter 11. Cash in the debit side, capital in the debit side, equal debit side, that's it. Purchases, expense, as well as asset purchases, debit side, credit side, liability, credit side, drawings, we don't see equity, debit side. Now the negative equity, drawings. Sales credit side fifty thousand income income credit side insurance expense expenses in the debit side expenses expenses in the debit side right right question is clear or not clear Moral, is it clear okay. clear and right. Right. Nehara, is it clear? Nehara? Generally, is it clear? Generally? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Umesha, is it clear? Right. Do you have any doubt regarding this question? Is there any doubt? No, sir. Not in five. I then, what we discuss today, we discuss the method of preparing ledger accounts and, and prior balance. Next week, we will do another question. With that question, we will discuss the method. I will give you a rough idea regarding profit and loss statement and statement of financial question. Okay, right. And then, students, uh, next Tuesday, next Tuesday, we will complete chapter four. We will complete chapter four. In chapter four, we have discussed something regarding accounting. In Russian accounting, we have discussed transaction and events and assets. We discuss current assets, non current assets. Liabilities also we discuss. Then uh, in liability, I think uh, current liabilities, non current liabilities we need to discuss. And next day, we will discuss income and expenses. Now you have some idea. Now you have some idea. Therefore, now we can complete chapter four without having any idea regarding accounting. Okay, right now the completing chapter four is useless. Now you have some idea. And later you can brush up your knowledge. Okay, now we can complete chapter four. 
next day we will come to chapter 4 <coughs> and then we will check the uh, answers of homeworks next day okay next day we will discuss the answers of chapter uh, answers of accounting equation and then uh, we will try to complete accounting equation lesson on next tuesday we will try to complete we will try to complete chapter 4 and chapter 5 on next tuesday and after that we can continue chapter 6 onwards chapter 6 onwards okay right try to get the logical understanding if you don't have any idea okay uh, if you have any doubt you can ask questions at any time you can send a message or even you can call okay then okay. at any time you can ask any question yes no sir i don't know okay fine 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 then uh we'll stop for the day complete the homework complete the homework we'll discuss homeworks on next day and we'll try to complete chapter 4 and 5 on next tuesday okay then right then we will finish the class for the day okay then right Okay, sir. Thank you, Good night. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Good night. Okay, okay, okay.